MailChimp is a renowned marketing automation and email marketing platform. In this video, we will show you how to connect MailChimp to your WordPress website. We will show you how to connect MailChimp with and without a plugin. Let's get started. So let's first explore how you can connect MailChimp to your WordPress website by installing a plugin. First, log into your WordPress dashboard. Then hover your mouse over plugins and then click on add new. From here, we are going to search for MailChimp. And here it is. As you can see, there are several integrations for MailChimp. The MailChimp for WordPress, MailChimp for WooCommerce, MailChimp list subscribe form, and there are many more. We are going to install this uh, MailChimp for WordPress, this one, okay? So let's click on install now and wait for the plugin to be installed. After it's installed, we're going to click on the activate button to activate the plugin. Okay, so the plugin has been activated. As you can see, here it says status not connected. And over here, there is the API key. So to get our API key, we can click on get your API key here. Or you can actually visit MailChimp's website and log into your um, MailChimp account. So we are already logged in. So we're here already. Uh, if you guys want to know how we access this uh, section, we can uh, go there manually by clicking on our profile and clicking on this profile over here. And it brings us to the same section. We're going to click on extras and click on API keys. And we're in the same section right now. Okay. So now let's scroll down. And you can see that we already have a key over here. And we don't have any active mobile client. We can create a key from here, but we want the API key. Okay, so we're going to click on create a key over here. And here it is. And we actually have to generate an API key. So if you click on generate key, it's going to say we need a label so that you can identify this API key. So we are going to uh, give a name to this uh, key. Okay, we're going to call this API key WordPress. And now we're going to click on the generate key. Okay, so this is our API key. So we're going to click on copy to clipboard. And now let's get back to our WordPress website. Now we're going to paste in our API key and then click on save changes. All right, so our MailChimp uh, has been connected to our WordPress site, okay? Okay, so that is how you can connect MailChimp to your WordPress site and your um, list name are over here. Okay, now that we have connected MailChimp with our WordPress website, the question is, how can you collect the email addresses of people through a form? So it's really easy. To add a form to your WordPress site, you have to first uh, create the form. To create the form, simply hover your mouse over MailChimp for WordPress, this one, and click on form. And from here, you can create a form. So I've already uh, created a form. I named it MailChimp email list. So you can simply give the name. And here you can design your uh, form. You can use the submit button, list choices, form action, agree to terms. You can also uh, include um, first name, last name label to this form. Okay. But we just want to add a simple uh, sign up form. So let's scroll up and then in the messages section, you can also customize your message. Um, successfully subscribed. It will say, thank you. Your sign up request was successful. Please check your email inbox to confirm. Okay. So all these texts, you can go through all these texts and customize them and then click on save changes button. And from the settings, make sure to select the lists this form subscribes to. Okay. So once you check that, you can also go to appearance and um, you can style your form so currently i'm using the astra theme and it's going to inherit from the astra theme okay so once you're done you can simply click on uh, save changes okay so we have saved changes now let's go to pages so these are all our pages we want to edit the home page okay so this is our home page so i'm going to scroll down and you can see there's a section over here that says subscribe to our newsletter. Okay, so this is perfect. So we can add our form over here. So we're going to remove this. And here we're going to add another block. And that is the MailChimp for WordPress form. If you cannot find this block, you can simply search for it over here. 
Okay, so this is over here. So just simply click on it. And from this drop down, you can select your uh, form that you just built. Okay, so after that, simply click on update. And now let's view our page. Let's go back and let's click on visit site. And you can see the form is over here. In this way, you can add this form to any place of your website you want. You can add it to your widgets, you can add it to your sidebar, anywhere you want. So let's check if our MailChimp is working or not. So let's put in an email address and let's see. Okay, so we have uh, successfully entered our email and it says, Thank you, your sign up request was successful. Please check your email inbox to confirm. Now let's go to our email inbox and check if there's any email from this website and we have signed in to our email address we can see that the confirmation email has been sent so if we click on yes subscribe me to this list we will be added to the email list so our form is working so that was how to integrate MailChimp with WordPress using a plugin now let's see how you can connect MailChimp to WordPress without any plugin for this you have to log into your MailChimp account we're already logged in. Um, you need to click on this drop down and click on this sign up forms. And from here, you can see there is form builder, embedded forms, subscriber pop up, contact form, and form integrations. So there are a lot of options. The one that we are going to use is the embedded forms. You can use others if you want, but we're going to use the embedded forms. So we're going to select it. And you can see that it has already created a simple form for us. All right. If you want, you can also customize this. For example, if you want to change the form fields, you can add first name, last name, address. You can add all of these. And you can also drag and drop this all around. Okay. All right. So we do not need this. So we're going to disable it. You can also um, customize these things. For example, if you want to customize the first name, you can simply click on it. And here you can um, customize what you want to display over here and the help text. And you can also set it as required. But we don't need this, so we're going to disable it. Let's go back. And you can also go to settings and um, write whatever you want to display over here. The width, you can also remove the CSS style, disable all JavaScript, show format options, and other options, all right? So we don't need this right now, so we're going to go back and for the referral badge, you can see that it says that Intuit MailChimp, all right? So here's the referral badge. You can also display it in the dark or in the light mode. So if you don't want this referral badge, you have to upgrade your MailChimp account. Since we're using a free account, we cannot disable this, okay? So once this is done, we can simply click on this continue button and it says your form is ready. So we need to copy and paste this code to our website and we can display the form. So let's copy this code and go back to our WordPress website. And now let's edit our landing page. So we're going to click on edit page. And we're going to scroll down, scroll down over here. I think it's a good place to place in our code. So what we can do is simply click on this plus button and we can choose this custom HTML block. Over here, we can write our code. So we have pasted our code. And now if we click on preview, we can see that this is working perfectly. So let's update it. And now let's view our page. If we scroll down, you can see the subscribe to newsletter form is over here. All right. So what about email? You know how you can uh, type email because there's no option over here. So if you want to create an email, just simply go to MailChimp site. Okay, we are here in our MailChimp account. We're simply going to click on the create button. And from here, you can see there are three options over here. Um, you can design your email with the regular email. You can also create an automation journey or you can create a landing page. So let's say we want to create a regular email. We're going to click on design email and from here you can see that it's untitled you can edit the name over here let's say we want to name something okay so let's say we want to call our email wordpress email and here it's um the recipients who you want to send these emails to 
we have four recipients in our current account. You can edit the recipients from here. Um, this is the from where your email will be sent from. You can edit this from and there's the subject. You can add the subject. You can also fix a send time. So when this email will be sent and for the content, which is the main one, let's click on the design email and you can choose the classic builder or the new builder. So let's click on the new builder. Here you can choose any email templates uh, that you want. There are in total 122 templates right now. Okay, you can see there are so many templates over here. Okay. So let's say we want to choose a simple one, the minimal one. Okay. You can click on this preview button and it's going to show you how the email body looks like. You can see how it looks on a phone or mobile devices. So once you're satisfied, you can click on exit preview and we can click on apply to choose this uh, content. So once you're done, you're going to click on save and exit and set as default builder. All right. So that is how you can um, create email template and send emails. Okay. So after you're done, you can send a test mail to check if everything is working. So that is how you can add forms to your WordPress website in order to build your email list. Okay. So that's how you can connect your MailChimp to your WordPress website. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a like, uh, share this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.